What's up? Sinistalker back here for another video. In this video, will be an installment of my Blu-ray DVD VHS updates right here. And I got some goodies. I'm going to talk about a couple of tapes from a buddy of mine and some Arrow video releases right over here. Oh, yes. And I'm super excited. What the hell's out of my head? It's gigantic cone head, as you can see. Look at this. Whoa. And now it's time for this. Boom, it's gone, just like that. Magic, my friends, pure magic. And now let's get down to the movie reviews. Bah. Start with the arrows first, because might as well. First up here by Arrow Video is a movie called Suture, executive produced by Steven Soderbergh and directed by a couple directors, Scott McGee and David Seagal. Pretty interesting movie this one is. Pretty interesting, I've never seen it before, never even heard of it. Uh, pretty cool. It was shot in black and white. Interesting movie about these two brothers and about stolen identity kind of thing. Uh, this, uh, about this rich brother named Vincent meets his blue working class brother named Clay at his dad's funeral. And then after that he decides to murder his brother Clay for some reason to kind of steal his identity because they're kind of similar in a way. Even though they're kind of not, but they kind of are. And it's pretty much about this stolen identity and, and the process of Clay survived this assassination attempt on him, snap, but his identity gets stolen by Vincent, and now Clay wants to get his identity back, but no one really believes who he is. It's very kind of a strange story. Pretty good story, though. Shot really well. Good cinematography in this thing. Has very David Lynch-esque vibe to it. Like, if you like David Lynch movies, kind of tripped out movies, like movies kind of like, like a Fellini kind of vibe, this definitely has that. Pretty trippy stuff. Interesting concept behind the whole deal. And like I said, shot really, really well. This thing is packed, all kinds of extras on this. Lots of cool um, interviews on here, behind the scenes, commentaries, that kind of deal, as Arrow Video always does. Here's what it looks like inside right here. You get the reversible cover art as Arrow does. This is like the original cover art right here. Pretty dang cool concept right here. So if you like like, like a mystery thriller type movies, and like a suspense twist to it too, you'll definitely get a kick out of Suture. Pretty good one right here. Definitely a neat one to watch. All right, next up here, also by Arrow Video, is this one, Swinging Cheerleaders, directed by Jack Hill. He did Nail Copy and uh, spider Baby and all that kind of thing. Really cool director. He did this thing. I never heard of this movie before. It's a pretty neat little sex comedy flick about this about this college campus, about this woman named Kate. She's a, she's a writer for her newspaper, and she, she goes undercover for her newspaper as a cheerleader, poses as a cheerleader to see what kind of sexploitation of women is going on on her campus. But in the process, she likes this guy, all kinds of crazy things go on. It's almost like a, like a whole bunch of like weird affairs happen along with her and some of the people involved in the football team, like the main guy named Buck. It is, it's really weird. Kind of when you watch this movie, it has a very softcore porn 70s feel to it. That's what I felt like when I was watching. A lot of like nudity and that kind of deal. And the guy Buck, he sort of looks like Dirk Diggler from Boogie Nights. You know, Mark Wahlberg has the same kind of hairdo and look. Kind of reminded me of that for a little bit during some of the scenes in the movie. It was like really strange. But yeah, pretty fun one right here. Especially like sex comedies. You'll definitely get a kick out of this. Pretty weird one. Pretty fun stuff. Packed all kinds of good extras in this deal right here. You know, commentary behind the scenes, trailers, all that good stuff. It looks amazing on Blu-ray. Really cleaned up. I've never seen it before, but it looks really awesome how they did a good job with it, as everybody always does. Things packed inside, too. Got the reversible cover art, as Arrow does. Check this out. Here goes the, uh, you know, if you want to switch up the cover art. I kind of like the new one, though. It looks really, really cool. But this old one right here from the old VHS copy, old poster copy of it, looks really, really nice. Here's the uh, booklet right here. It was Kate. Little, uh, little little sample of some of the goodies inside here. A little essay there, a little write up on you know swinging cheerleaders. But yeah, pretty fun watch, pretty good. Especially if you got a couple beers in your system, you'll definitely get a kick out of this one right here. Very fun stuff. A little raunchy though, so beware of that. It's almost like you're watching a soft core porn. So do not watch this with the kids. Watch it. An adults only kind of movie is is this one right here. But yeah, pretty pretty good stuff though. Yeah, good old swinging cheerleaders. Oh, yeah. Next up here by Arrow Video UK is this release, Satan's Blade by L. Scott Castillo Jr. He directed this thing right here. Pretty dang cool, obscure, early 80s slasher. I've never seen this movie, but I definitely want to always want to check it out. I never got my hands on it, but now I do. Pretty cool watch. A little bit of a slow burn at times, but not bad. You know, it's a low-budget movie, so don't expect anything really great and awesome, but pretty dang cool for what it is right here. Pretty good atmosphere. Pretty much takes place of these kids and these teenagers. They go to the mountains, like a little wintry break. 
one day for like a little winter vacation kind of deal, go skiing and whatnot up there. But they don't know, they don't realize that there might be a psycho killer on the loose with a knife and a legend of this crazy mountain man that kills people with this crazy knife that holds these cool satanic powers in a sense. Pretty cool sequences in this thing. A couple neat sequences. The one I can think of is this pretty awesome dream sequence in this deal. That's one that really sticks out in my mind the most. But yeah, pretty cool movie. Definitely if um, you're like like VHS and stuff like that and like obscure slashers, you'll definitely get a kick out of Satan's Blade. It's like the back of it right here. You've got all these great extras in this thing, you know, commentary, interviews and whatnot. And some of the interviews are uh, pretty weird with the director. It's it's kind of like low budgetly done. The uh, interviews of uh, uh, L. Scott Castillo is like he shows some of the cool like uh, stuff he has in the movie. Like he has like a film rule canister, some of the videotapes he still has of the VHS releases, which are pretty rare now. They go for a pretty penny on eBay and Amazon, but he has those. But it was really weird, kind of a guy. Like he wears like his cowboy hat. It's it shot really strange, like in a low budget cam quarter but it, I, got, I got a kick out of it because it's like very weird and strange on the uh, extras right there but pretty neat stuff and here's what it looks like on the inside you're gonna get your blu-ray get your dvd and you also get the reversible cover art which is right here check that out which is funny about this is i got a videotape different movie but the same cover art i'll show you right now so here's the vhs of this one called satan's blood and this one is satan's blade isn't that weird Different movie completely than this one, but the same cover art. How is that possible? I don't know, but just trippy. I just thought I'd just bring that up because this is uh, since I have that, it's just a little different, little weird thing I'll throw out there. But yeah, pretty cool release right here. Definitely a nice obscure one. You get a nice little booklet inside. Here's the other VHS uh, cover art for it. Is this release right here? Pretty in depth, nice uh, essay written by the people from Arrow Video. Really, really good stuff. Here's some of the shots inside. And what I didn't realize too, which I thought was pretty interesting, is that the director held a casting session here in San Diego over at Mesa College. So some, a lot of the actors in this movie are from San Diego from Mesa College, which I thought was interesting. And they did the premiere here of this movie in San Diego back in 1982, I believe September 25th of 82. They did the premiere here at Ken Cinema. And I thought that was pretty interesting to find out by reading this book where I had no idea that San Diego in a way was associated with this movie. Pretty interesting. But yeah, pretty cool one to check out. Don't expect nothing amazing. There's some bloopers in this thing. What I like too about this edition of this uh, Blu-ray right here, you get the full screen edition of it, which is kind of, you see a lot of false and you see like the boom and stuff like that. But you also get the widescreen edition of this thing that was on the previous Blu-ray release of it. You get that in this edition. So it's cool. So it kind of fixes up a lot of that but it looks really really good on blu-ray the really good transfer this thing because before i heard it was like a really dark picture some of it from the vhs prints and other it was like kind of this kind of crappily like this dark you know but they really clean it up a lot as everybody always does but if you have an all-region blu-ray player or whatnot definitely pick up this edition of satan's blade pretty cool horror flick right here like a skewer one good atmosphere the atmosphere is very cool i like that because that kind of had kind of like a, a madman Madman Mars movie, Madman had that kind of atmosphere to it. And also like the movie Ghost Keeper with the snow and that kind of element really played a good role in this movie as part of the character development of this and the atmosphere, which I thought was really, really well done when they did this. Yeah, so if you like any of these Arrow releases right here, the link down below where you can get them at, definitely check these out. I believe this comes out, I believe this comes out later July. These ones are already out now, I believe. Check them out. They always have a bunch of other movies they have for sale too. Link down below, check it out. Now, next up, I'm going to talk about these interesting VHS releases my buddy did. Oh, yes. All right, so I got these couple of interesting clamshells. Check that out. Glow Women of Professional Wrestling. It's like an 80s, early 90s women's wrestling organization. And this right here by my buddy Demented Times. These are both by my buddy Demented Times, a.k.a. Marijuana VHS Kid. Link down below, you can check him out on Instagram and whatnot. He has a YouTube channel too. Check him out. He's a, he's a cool cat. Met up with him yesterday. He gave me these. Really cool dude. Um, he puts these cool compilation videos together. You can order them through his site. And they're really cool because like a lot of this stuff has like the old school 80s commercials in there. And he puts these kind of funny scenes in there. I definitely dig it. Like this one right here is awesome. You get all kinds of cool episodes, like different TV things, like Erie, Indiana, Misfits of Science. 
Auto Man and whatnot and a bunch of other things. But it's cool. Like I said, you get the old 90s commercials on this and some of them are 80s commercials. So I thought that was really cool. But check that out. So if you like a VHS nut and you like that kind of cool retroness of the, some of the TV shows and whatnot, you'll definitely get a kick out of these right here. Very good stuff. I'm going to show a couple clips of the stuff right now so you kind of get an idea what these look like. But damn, pretty cool stuff. I'm going to go show these right now. One of each. I'll show this one a little bit and a little bit of that one. This is a little example of what these are. It looks like inside. Very homemade looking. But I like that he made these cool stickers. Look at that. Check it out. Rewind that shit, please. I definitely like this sticker he did right there. Nice touch. Very awesome. So Let's pop this in right now. I, mm, I believe this is the movie called Misfits of Science. I believe it's like a really weird... Uh, early 90s science fiction flick. Pretty strange one. I believe that's what this is right here, the movie of it. Okay, so here we go right here. We got some of the old like trailers and stuff on this thing. It was pretty cool. It just takes you back. Good old demon knight. Check this out. <laughs> I love it. It's so retro awesome. Sci-Fi Channel, the old Sci-Fi Channel logo. You're watching Misfits of Science on the Sci-Fi Channel. Man, remember that logo? That's the old school Sci-Fi Channel. That's awesome. Now this is absolutely amazing and takes me back to my childhood. Check this out. Starting at 6:30 on Fox 28 and 40. The Fox Kids Club. Dude, yeah. What? Remember that back in the 90s, dude? Fox Indiana Kids Club? Gary, Indiana. Love that show as a kid. Awesome show. Love it. Gary, Indiana is awesome. Like, it's kind of cool with these stories and stuff. Kind of creepy. Kind of has like an Are You Afraid of the Dark kind of feel to it. But I like this. I don't know if this is on DVD or not. I don't even know if it is. It might be on like a, like a bootleg DVDs of it, but I'm not sure. I wish they would bring it out. I don't know if it's ain't out. They should bring it out. Interesting. This is awesome. Pizza Hut show. Check out this weird Pizza Hut commercial with a pizza in like a Star Wars sort of vibe. I don't know. I do not remember this. I don't know if you guys remember this thing, maybe, but I do not remember this. Participating in Pizza Huts. Sorry about the tracking, folks, but it happens with VHS. Whoa. New Eminem Minis? Those were new at one time? Well, yeah. Love that. Let's see what kind of weird uh, you know, commercials are in these things, like weird, you know, kid ones and stuff. Look at this thing. This, I remember this. You can ride in this bear. I remember seeing this in stores and stuff. That's weird. A doodle bear. Have you guys had a doodle bear? Interesting. Oh my god. Huh. Weird retro awesomeness by Tycho. Alright, did that one get a little sample of that? Let's go check out this one with the gorgeous ladies of wrestling. Interesting cover art. Let's go check it out. This is very weird to get Latoya Jackson. What the hell is this? I have no idea what the hell this is. This looks very bizarre. Huh. It's like a bunch of stuff on this thing. <laughs> well, oh man, this looks awesome. Anyway, look at this. This is the back of it right here. What it's about, this little synopsis. Awesome stuff, and um, yeah, you gotta love that. Good things. Let's get to the glow part. I'm curious what the, the ladies of wrestling is like. I've been fast forwarding for a while. So far, no remnant of wrestling, but I've seen lots of weird programming like this. I don't even know what this even is. Excellent. We all made it. That is, except for This looks very weird. We've got to work a little bit on that materialization part. But we're. Oh, well, this ain't wrestling, but. Hmm. Enough of that. Yeah, I, I don't know. Enough of that. 
I have no idea what the hell this is, but you know what? I kind of dig it in a weird tripped out way. Interesting. In fact, from that to LaToya, I don't know. I'm going to find no glow wrestling. I'm sure it's somewhere in there, but I didn't see it. But it's still, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed this one, too. Very cool. Good times, fun times. Make sure to check out my man, Demented Times, right there. Awesome stuff. Link down below. Check out his Instagram. Really cool guy. If you want to get any of these tapes, he has information on that on his Instagram. But yeah, fun stuff. Especially for, like, cool, retro, weird VHS stuff. I gotta love it right here. That'll do it for my video right there. Hope you guys enjoyed it immensely or somewhat or whatnot. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of it. And if you want to get any of these flicks right here by Arrow, link down below. Also, we can get these bad boys at these cool new Blu-ray flicks right there. And now, I will catch you guys later on the next one. Boop! Whoa. That thing on my head again. Damn conehead. What the hell? I'll see ya. Bye-bye.